The John Eagle family of dealerships is proud to sponsor School Zone Dallas, a showcase of DISD's successful commitment to prepare all students to graduate with the knowledge and skills to become productive and responsible citizens. Hi, I'm Malcolm, a senior at the Rosie M. Collins Sorrells School of Education and Social Services at the Yvonne A. Yule Townview Magnet Center in the Dallas Independent School District. And I'm Liz, a junior at Woodrow Wilson High School, and welcome to School Zone Dallas, where we'll give you an inside look at Dallas ISD and the many outstanding students and inspiring teachers that help make our schools great. Liz, do you know that Dallas ISD has 59 recognized and 66 exemplary schools? Now that's impressive. Even more impressive is understanding how fast the turnaround has occurred. The number of exemplary schools in our district has quadrupled in the last four years. That's outstanding. Stay with us and we'll tell you what it takes to make it happen and a whole lot more right here on School, School Zone, Zone Dallas. Dallas. We're here at H.S. Thompson Elementary, home of the Mighty Tigers. Not only is Thompson an exemplary school, it's also a Blue Ribbon School, a national honor awarded by the U.S. Department of Education. Blue Ribbon Schools are high-performing schools that have improved student achievement to high levels, especially among disadvantaged students. There are only 26 schools in Texas to receive this honor, and Dallas ISD has two of them, James Bonham Elementary School and right here at Thompson. Let's take a look inside Thompson to see just what it takes to be a Blue Ribbon School. Hi, I'm Devon, a student right here at H.S. Thompson Elementary School in South Dallas. Everybody always wants to know, why is H.S. Thompson a Blue Ribbon School? I'm not sure what Garon to say, but it's an easy question for me. We have the best teachers at H.S. Thompson. They teach us and they help us. They go over things with us until we get it. They work with us in small groups. They tutor us after school. If we don't have school supplies or uniforms, our teachers collect money and buy them. When we do good work, they take us to fun places like foot workers. They give us goodie bags with books and treats. Our principal, Miss Cotton, is really nice. She works hard too. She writes notes on our report cards and puts gold or silver stars on them. We write down our goals. Then, Ms. Cotton calls us to her office, and we discuss our goals. She asks us, do we know what a commitment is? I know it's a promise. When I sign my goal sheet, I'm promising to make my goals. My school makes learning interesting. Our theme this year is Buzz Lightyear. Buzz says, to infinity and beyond. That means we're going to keep moving ahead like a spaceship in outer space. HST is a great place for kids like me to be. And now, you know why my school is a Blue Ribbon School. As you can see, Thompson is a great school. But Thompson is not the only Blue Ribbon School in the district. James Bonham Elementary School shares the Blue Ribbon distinction. And that's not all. Four Dallas ISD schools are nominated for our 2011 Blue Ribbon. The Dallas Environmental Science Academy, Irma Lerma Rangel Young Women's Leadership School, the School of Science and Engineering, and my school, the Rosie M. Collins Sorrell School of Education and Social Services. Good luck to all our Blue Ribbon nominees. Now let's head over to Clara Oliver Elementary and meet up with Jessica, who will introduce us to the youngest drumline in the city. Thanks guys, I'm here at Clara Oliver Elementary, home of the Rockets. The students here study hard and play hard. Let me show you what I mean.
The Drumline After School program is one of the first of its kind for an elementary school. It was implemented a couple of years ago with the hope of motivating students towards higher achievement. My goal was to give them something that will uh, keep them occupied where they stay out of trouble and then give them this incentive that, hey, if I just stay focused in school and, you know, with band, it would help me, or with drumline rather, it would help me, you know, with my academics and I can excel higher and even use this as a tool to get through school or through college. I have a rule again, uh, no pass, no play. Not only does it help with the academics, but it helps with the discipline because I'm able to uh, mentor them and let them know, hey, if you, you can't be a drumline uh, participant and not be a leader in the school because everyone is going to look at you so your grades have to be great and your character must be excellent. I've learned a lot being a drumline. You have to be disciplined, you have to play right, never drop your sticks. It's a lot of rules to being a drumline. Clara Oliver gets a lot of help from the surrounding community, especially from one Dallas ISD high school that's close by. Uh, some of the old drums that we had, we let them have. Some of the sticks we just had them, we got them started with sticks and then I would come by and teach them like cadences and how to learn, how to play, how to hold the sticks, things like that and that's kind of got the ball rolling for them here. The drumline has performed at various Clara Oliver school assemblies and PTA meetings. They've also played at Yvonne A. Yule Townview Center, South Oak Cliff High School and Kincaid Stadium. What I like about being in the drumline is that we go places, we compete with people, we get prizes, in, and it helps us with our academics. I try my best to come up with something that's gonna energize the children, give them something to strive for, um, give them something that, hey, if I just stick with this, this will take me through school and even further. Um, and so that, that's what, it, that's what I, my goal was, to give back to the children. And it's been very exciting. I'm gonna continue playing the bass drum. When I get into middle school and high school. I hope I do see some future players at SAC, man. I really do. Because if I see them young and see them develop, once they get to junior high, I'll probably miss them a little bit. But once they get to high school, you know, I don't know who they are. They know who I am. They see my face and kind of build a relationship with them. It's been great because we have kindergarten kids that some of the drums are bigger than their bodies. <laughs> and so, but if you just put it on the stand and lower it, they're actually able to play certain rudiments and they go home and practice, it's like homework. They know as soon as I finish my homework, uh, the parents support, hey, let them practice and it, it's, it's really working. A lot of the parents said they've seen a tremendous change in their children and that, that's what it's about. It's, it's not just about playing the drums, it, it's about being accountable, making sure that your academics are straight, making sure that you are disciplined and that you have great character that someone can look at you and respect you. Here's some exciting news. For the first time ever, Clara Oliver will be hosting its first Battle of the Drummers event this spring. Various Dallas ISD high schools will participate. There will also be a special appearance by Prairie View A&M. Not bad for an elementary school. For Schools on Dallas, I'm Jessica. Thanks, Jessica. And Claire Oliver, you are sounding great. And speaking of sounding great, the handbells and recorder groups at Thompson keep things sounding great all year long. And Thompson's dance team, the Blue Thunder, keeps students active and involved at school. These after-school programs add a variety of enrichment activities for students. That's right. And studies show that learning music and dance enhances a child's ability to think, reason, and create. And it helps with their math skills, too. Thompson's music and dance groups perform at various functions throughout the year and help to spread that special Thompson cheer. Special is an app description for two Dallas ISD students who were recently named the top two AP students in the state, and they both hail from the Yvonne A. Ewell Townview Magnet Center, which technically speaking is my school too. Yes, and you have every right to be proud because Benjamin Bell, a 2010 graduate of the School of Science and Engineering, and Sarah Edris, a 2010 graduate of the School for the Talented and Gifted, were named the top male and top female AP scholar in the state of Texas. Both Benjamin and Sarah are currently attending the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Wow, that's a great college. Way to go, guys. Many of us are looking forward to college. Liz, do you know that Dallas ISD has an early college high school housed on a college campus? I sure do. It's a great opportunity for students to get the jump on a college education. Here's Khalees to tell us more about it. Khalees? I'm on campus at Mount View College in Oak Cliff to tell you about a unique high school nested in the middle of this beautiful campus, Trinidad Trini Garza Early College High School. 
That's right. Dallas ISD students roam the hallways alongside their college counterparts. And get this, Garza Early College High School was recently rated exemplary by the Texas Education Agency. In a partnership with the Dallas County Community College District, Dallas ISD opened the Early College High School in 2006. The school serves students who are the first in their families to seek a college education or may be at risk or economically disadvantaged. The first thing we do is to provide students with a college-going culture so that they get the academic and the social skills to prepare them for the responsibility of college. And probably most importantly, we provide a rigorous environment of instruction so that the students know what the expectations are as they progress through the college system. In May 2010, Dallas ISD and Mountain View College celebrated the naming of Trinidad Trinity Garza Early College High School at Mountain View College. The school is named in honor of Trinidad Trinity Garza, a well-known Dallas civic leader and businessman. Students here at Garza Early College High School have the opportunity to earn an associate's degree by the time they graduate, which really puts them ahead of their competition. Early college high school students can earn dual credit for high school and college credit at Mount View in order to graduate from both high school and community college. Right now I have 48 hours and I plan to continue on to a four-year university and become a pharmacist. I currently have 51 college hours. Uh, I plan on going to Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It's in Boston and I want to be a computer engineer. Last year the early college celebrated its first ever graduating class. 35 high school seniors received an associate's degree from Mountain View Community College and were also awarded their high school diplomas. These students even inspired Angel Torres, a teacher's assistant at the early college, to get his associate's degree and graduate with the first class. At the beginning when I knew that we were going to take the class together, I felt a little bit nervous. I was like, okay, I'm going to be with one of my students. But then at the end, the attitude of these students, they don't, they don't see me as uh, like, oh, he's already too old to be in college and all that. They were actually more, giving me more support of, you can, you can still do it at the age that's matter to finish your, get your associates. That was a good experience walking, um, especially with my students getting our associates, so it was really exciting. So like a one-time opportunity, and I will never forget that. Mr. Torres is working on his bachelor's degree to become a teacher. You know, students here at the Early College High School really love their teachers and their school. They get hands-on experience in real-world situations and have fun at the same time. All students that come to this school, um, they may or may not be functioning on a pre-AP or an AP level, but we get them there. And we take them to pre-AP, we take them, we show them the rigor, and we scaffold in order to get them there. That's what makes this program unique. Project-based learning, inspiring teachers, and an incredible learning environment are just a few elements that help create successful students who are ready for college and have the college credits necessary to transfer to the university of their choice. For School Zone Dallas, I'm Khalees. Thanks, Khalees. For more information about the stories featured today on School Zone Dallas, or to just learn a little bit more about the show, be sure to check out our website at www.dallasisd.org slash schoolzone. We're here at Thompson Elementary School, one of the district's two blue ribbon schools. Thompson prides itself in providing rigorous and challenging instruction. Thompson's reading curriculum is designed to ensure that all students have a solid foundation in decoding, vocabulary, fluency, and comprehension skills. In math, Thompson uses an interdisciplinary approach that reaches across grade levels. Teachers provide research-based computation and problem-solving strategies in a non-threatening environment that enhances the success of all students. So Liz, do you know who really needs to know their math? Uh, not sure where you're going with this, but I have a feeling you're going to tell me. <laughs> of course! Architects and engineers really need to know their math, and that brings us to our next story. Over the last month or so, we've heard a lot about Cowboy Stadium. You're so right about that. Now let's head over to Jose and learn about a special connection between Dallas ISD's Skyline High School and Cowboy Stadium. Jose? Students in the architecture cluster at Skyline High School were in for a special treat last year. They were awarded a Junior League of Dallas Innovative Teaching Grant. 
As a result of this grant, students had the opportunity to create camera drawings to capture the essence of a space by drawing with a camera and then piecing together multiple images. A camera drawing is a photographic technique invented by artist David Hockney that involves using multiple images of a space or object which allows us to see it in a different way. With the Junior League grant, we were able to purchase cameras, process the film, and also purchase books by the artist David Hockney. We were also able to visit the Cowboy Stadium, the Windspear Opera House, and the Rachowski House. My favorite would have to be the Cowboy Stadium, basically because it's something new, it's something fresh, it's an idea that many people have not thought of before. As most people don't know, it's the first column free stadium, actually, in the entire world. So it's just an inspiration to see how all of, these, all of this work has come together. The last stop on the students' tour of special buildings was to the Dallas Cowboys Stadium in Arlington. The students had a guided tour of this fantastic facility and learned about the special artwork inside. Brian Truby, the principal designer of the Dallas Cowboys Stadium, stopped by for a visit with the students, and I had the opportunity to interview him. What are you most proud of here at the stadium? I think one of the things we're all most uh, proud of is the fact that uh, we've been able to create something that uh, most people regard as a very high quality uh, piece of architecture. It's not just a stadium uh, and really we started out uh, calling this project the Cowboys Destination Project. That was our working title and that really embodied what we wanted it to be uh, more than a stadium. We wanted it to be a very important destination not just regionally, but nationally. Oh, and by the way, Mr. Chuby was an architecture student at Skyline. He has gained experience working in both the United States and Hong Kong, and now he's a partner with HKS, a Dallas-based architectural firm. I'm amazed about that. I didn't know, like, like, it gives you hope that maybe you could be the same way. Coming from, like, a, pro a program like this, is like, it could give you hope to do something else, like, in the future, knowing that he came from the same school, same environment. Uh, Mr. Chuby, uh, being a a Skyline alumni, can you tell me a little bit about your experience while you were at the cluster and just being a part of DISD period? Uh, it was a great experience. As a matter of fact, it, it really saved me as a young person because I knew I wanted to be an architect and I knew I wanted to uh, have a career as an architect, uh, but I didn't realize until uh, I knew about Skyline that I could actually start on that as a high school student. Well, you never know. In a few years, maybe another architecture student from Skyline High School will be creating the next spectacular skyscraper. For School Zone Dallas, I'm Jose. Thanks, Jose. A Skyline Cowboys connection? Who knew? You learn a lot when you watch School Zone Dallas. That's right. Hey, Malcolm, do you know what else is good to learn? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. Absolutely. There are definite benefits from learning the game of chess. And here at Thompson, students benefit from the chess club, an after-school program here at the school. Studies have shown that students who learn chess have a better understanding of patterns and how to use logic to solve problems. And they have fun at the same time. You couldn't be more right. And now, let's meet up with Madeline to find out about a special e-mentoring program at 11 Dallas ISD schools. Madeline? Technology is making it easier for students to have access to their mentors. Check out how e-mentoring is helping students to stay motivated in school and to work hard for their future. Several high school students in Dallas ISD are participating in this program that is made possible by Dallas Lawyers, the Dallas Bar Association, and the Dallas ISD. Before getting to know their mentors personally, who are lawyers, business persons, or university students, they communicate through emails. They counsel and listen to the students in various topics such as university admission. I've been in this program for three years and what I like about the e-mentor program is that I can go to my mentor whenever I need help with something and she always gives me good advice whenever I need her. She's always there for me. Students are assigned to the same mentor for the rest of their school years so they can develop a good relationship and trust can be formed. Having the support from their mentors has created a positive impact on these students to continue on to college. First class at Samuel High School uh, was 45 students and 45 mentors and in 2008 all of those students graduated high school. The e-mentoring program has 400 mentors and 400 high school students that attend 11 Dallas ISD schools. If you are interested in being a mentor or want to make a difference in the lives of some students, check out the website on your screen and find out how you can help. With the one-on-one -on -one mentoring, the students are definitely on the right path to becoming great leaders. For School Zone Dallas, I'm Madeline. 
Thanks, Madeline. Earlier in the program, we mentioned that Wrangell Young Women's Leadership School is one of four Dallas ISD schools to be nominated as a National Blue Ribbon School. Wrangell is an all-girls school that has been garnering awards since its inception in 2002. Now the district is proud to announce the opening of an all-male school, the Barack Obama Male Leadership Academy at BF Doral in August 2011. The academy will open to all male students in grades 6 through 9 and at a grade level each year through the 12th grade. For more information about the Barack Obama Male Leadership Academy, go to the district's website listed on your screen. Now let's switch gears and head over to O.M. Roberts Elementary School where we'll learn about a very successful tutoring program provided by a very special organization. Here's Alexis to tell us all about it. Here at O.M. Roberts Elementary School, members of the community have teamed up with the staff to create one of the most successful tutoring programs in the district. And if they're the same, what is it, what's the answer going to be? Yeah, okay. We started out, we had about 15 to 20 tutors. Now we have 80 tutors. They come once a week for 45 minutes. And they work with the students on both reading and math. And each tutor has a specific folder that's individualized for their student. We look at what the student really needs and of course we all know that because the teachers have 22 students in the class they don't have the time to meet with each student individually so we look at the ones that need the most help in that area and uh, so then I target the materials for specifically what they need according to the assessment that the teacher has given. One of the reasons for the program's success is the commitment of its volunteers. I love it. Um, I was hesitant to get involved. I thought, oh, I don't have time. Um, it's going to be a pain to drive down there every, um, you know, once a week. And I have just enjoyed it so, so much. I love the kids. I like the teachers that I've met. And it's actually one of the highlights of my week now. I look forward to tutoring because Miss uh, Puckett helped me with everything with reading and multiplication and stuff. So if my teacher asked me questions in class, I would already know them. Okay. Six times two is very good. The impact that's made is tremendous. Um, it has, we've gone from being uh, a low performing school and we've, in the last nine years, we've, we're now exemplary. This is our second year to be exemplary. And I feel we couldn't do that without the tutoring program. So, Ropa is chistosa, dijo Carlos. Sí, así es, dijo Alma. A lot of schools have tutoring programs. With ours, it's a little more structured. Tutors feel valued, and they really feel that they have a stake in this with the students' performance, and I think that's what makes the difference. For an adult to come in and just care about these kids, like, you don't have to be great at math, you don't have to be great at teaching toward a test, just for some other adult to care about them, just to invest in them, I think makes a difference, hopefully in their life and for sure in mine. I mean, I just you love it. it. Again. As you can see, it's sometimes hard to tell who benefits the most, the tutors or the students. At Owen Roberts, everyone wins. For Schools on Dallas, I'm Alexis. Thanks, Alexis. It's wonderful to see so many members of our community rolling up their sleeves to help our students succeed. Wonderful and gratifying. But they're not the only ones pitching in to help our community. Students at Dallas ISD's Multiple Careers Magnet take giving to a whole new level. Here's Kyle with a story about a very special school. One of Dallas ISD's core beliefs is to graduate students, college and workforce ready to compete in the global economy. Here at the Multiple Careers Magnet Center, students with special needs are not only given the opportunity to become successful citizens, but are also given back to the community. Since 1978, the Multiple Careers Magnet Center has provided students with training in standards of work performance and acquisition of specific occupational skills for successful transition to community life and employment. Multiple Careers at the present time has five clusters and it's a career preparation high school for special needs students. Our students come on a part-time basis. They spend half of their day here and half of their day at their home high school. Building tomorrow's careers today is the school's motto. Students choose between the following vocations. Building maintenance technology, travel and tourism, business technology, culinary arts. 
and construction technology. Working with this type of a, popul a population, it is a very heartwarming experience because you get to see how they grow, how they are so faithful about coming every day. And uh, in fact, to be honest with you, they don't ever want to leave here. With the proper resources and access to a variety of tools, students are equipped with the skills they need to succeed in the career of their choice. During their senior year, they are placed in apprenticeship positions with community partners. We have right now at the current time, we have 18 students that are out there. We have them at City Place, we have them at the DISD Administration Building, we have them at some of our schools. It's just wonderful because they get to practice their skills and you'd be surprised how much they shine when they go there. But what makes the Multiple Careers Magnet Center even more special is its emphasis on giving back to the community. At the beginning of each school year, all the career clusters unite to share their skills with A Wish With Wings, a nonprofit organization that grants wishes to Texas children with life-threatening diseases. Each cluster makes a variety of items to donate to the organization so they can pass it on to those special children. The Building Maintenance Technology Cluster unites with Construction Technology Cluster to make rocking chair horses and other wooden toys. The Travel and Tourism Cluster makes bath and body baskets with a little personality. The coloring books are created by the Business Technology Cluster, while the Culinary Arts Cluster puts the final touches on the wooden toys. Even the school's Dallas County Master Gardeners, who work with the students on a weekly basis, contributed with the custom-made flower ornaments. In mid-November, after months of hard work, the final products are revealed at a special event where multiple career students present these wonderful, unique gifts to a Wish With Wings organization. Not only are you helping the kids that we're serving, the kids that we grant wishes to, but it sounds like there is a lot of teamwork going on. A few weeks later, a Wish With Wings holds its holiday party where the gifts provided by the multiple career students are given to the children. It's a good project for the kids not only to learn a skill, but it's a good, just a good human relations, you know. The main thing is just showing what these kids can do. These kids are special kids, but they help in special kids. Learning skills to be productive citizens and the importance of giving back to the community makes this school even more special. Students who attend the Multiple Careers Magnet Center are making the future brighter for themselves and for us. For Schools on Dallas, I'm Kyle. Thanks, Kyle. Well, unfortunately, that's about all the time we have for this edition of School Zone Dallas. We'd like to thank everyone here at H.S. Thompson Elementary School for their gracious hospitality. As well as a big thanks goes out to Mr. John Eagle and the John Eagle family of car dealerships, without whose support today's show would not have been possible. Thank you so much, Mr. Eagle. And thank you for watching. Until next time, we'll see you back here in the zone. <laughs>